guys, welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos so far, you know, the change up in content. I'm just really trying to get back to like what truly makes me happy with my content. Like for me, I don't really care if there's people that are like, oh, I don't like farm stuff as much, or I don't like the daily vlogs where you show all these little bits and pieces of things that don't have to do with cars or trucks. I just want that stuff. You know what? Screw it. I'm doing what makes me happy, and that's all that should really matter to me. And when it comes to your life and what you do day to day, that should be your goal is to do what makes you happy and feel fulfilled. Now I'm not talking about doing stupid stuff, but I'm saying like what truly makes you feel fulfilled as a person here on this earth while you're here, that's what you should be doing is what truly brings you joy and the people around you joy because you're gonna be more joyful and that's just gonna overflow into every other area of your life. So anyways guys, Welcome back to another video here. We're gonna be headed to the bank right now. I've got some bills that I don't like paying that I have to pay. And then we're going to be heading back over here to the house. We're gonna be getting some work done around the farm. So stay tuned and hopefully you guys enjoy the video. But do not forget that if you wanna to enter to win this Hellcat plus $5,000 cash, there's a link in the description below. And it's as easy as going to the store where it says we give away fast cars, pdapericle.com, spending $5 or more and you're automatically entered to win the car. If you wanna win the G56 six speed manual Cummins on the forces plus $5,000, cash all you have to do is go to lmpgear.com spend five dollars or more and you're automatically entered to win however both of these giveaways are not going to last forever and they're going to be gone before you know it hey. y'all about done yeah, <laughs> so i actually just had them detail and kind of clean out the interior of the vehicles if you guys want to check this one out this is the truck going off to devon from minnesota they got it all vacuumed and clean Wipe down, the dash is all shiny, wheels all clean. Looks really, really good. We actually just picked up his money too. Because of course he gets $5,000 along with his truck. Looks really, really good. If you'd like to be as lucky as Devin or have that opportunity, this truck right here is up for grabs. So I actually just got something pretty neat in the mail from a fan on the Instagram page and he said, hey, I make something really unique that I think a lot of your second gen fans would really love and it's basically a metal plate that's laser engraved with the pre-drilled holes to replace your cup launchers and second gens with something that actually doesn't look bad. It's actually a nice looking piece and it's laser engraved so it's never gonna like wear out or look bad. So what do you guys think about the idea of this? If you guys like it enough, we might offer it on the store. It's actually really neat. It's an actual laser engraved metal plate that you would put in place of your cup holders on a second gen dock. He also made a cool little laser engraved metal keychain. If you guys think something like this would be cool, not necessarily this design only, but other variations, let me know down in the comment section below. Stopping in the barn here, we've got the wifey here working with her horse and her donkey. <laughs> Was he making all that noise in here? No, he was doing it because I left him out there. Oh, I, th I heard him doing that in the house because I could hear him from inside with the door closed. I was like, oh my goodness. I'm like, is he doing that inside the barn? That's gonna be miserable. He won't let you touch him? He won't let me catch him. Oh, catch him. Oh, okay. I thought you meant he wouldn't let you touch him. I'm like, what? He seems like such a nice guy. So I actually just had the boys detail the car. They actually got everything all cleaned out. It looks really sick. Look, it really is awesome. Just one of our new hats, one of our new keychains right there, and possibly the key that uh, could be going in your pocket with the car. But anyways, my buddy Jeshua that just bought that red second gen not too long ago said that he would like some help installing a fuel tank on his truck, so we might head on over there right now, get some footage of getting that fuel tank installed on his truck, and we'll kind of go through what happened recently, and he'll, he'll try to explain everything the best that he can. So here we are. What's up guys? So we're gonna be replacing, the goal is to replace the fuel tank in your truck. Yep, we're gonna drop that one and put this one in. And uh, explain to them what you just explained to me about what was wrong with your fuel tank in the first place. Or do you wanna tell them what happened uh, altogether because they didn't hear any about that. Yeah. Long story short, my fuel tank strap broke that I didn't replace when I got it. Malachi was asking me a day after I bought it, hey man, come over and replace it. I was like, yeah, it'll be all right. <laughs> then I forgot about it and then it broke off one day and I'm, I'm coming home from work. I didn't notice it broke off. And I'm looking down Tillman Road on my way home. This is like six hours later. And there's like an oil streak, I thought, across all the way down Tillman. And I'm like, who came out of our driveway? Like, what idiot. 
<laughs> yeah, I was like, what moron was leaking that much oil? Me. Yeah, so it was fuel. And I went to my brother's house, and then he saw it dripping in his driveway, and that this filler neck was holding the tank up because oh, the rear dang. strap yeah, fell, yeah. and it snapped the plastic right here. That makes sense. So the whole tank is in great shape, other than that little neck. And I, apparently, you can't do anything to fix it. Yeah, well, that's the first time I hold the whole heard the whole story. So I guess that makes sense as to why it cracked right there. Then is because it was well, just holding. That's the, just three little screws. I had a full tank. Yeah. yeah. Oh dang. Yep. Yeah, that'll do it. A bunch of farm animals too now. You got pigs and goats, and Dog. you guys have chickens here too, chickens right? Chickens right there. They've got a golden. Oh yeah. Dang, I didn't even know you got those. Sixty of them. Dang. I didn't know that. I know you were talking about it. I, I didn't rabbits. know you guys got them. You got rabbits? Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Can take a peek. We got auto waters for everything except for the goat. Me and my buddy Isaac are doing rabbits together. And he came up with the idea for the water for them because rabbits suck down a lot of water. But anyways, the rabbits are over there. My pigs are over here. Dang. They're going to produce a lot of offspring. Your hog's got some shade back in here though. <laughs> Dang. Look at these sons of guns. Oh my gosh. Look at that big pink one. Isn't that pink one huge? Oh my so big. goodness. Oh my goodness. Hey, right, good girl. All right. Bro. That thing's as big as you. Yeah. <laughs> this thing's bigger than you. 190, you said? Yeah. Dude, those things are monsters. Be meat rabbits. They're New Zealand and Californians. One of them's called a deargent, but. Here's their water. You just fill that up and it runs through here. These are still on here from before, but then these little nipples, they just drink on them and the water sprays out. That is so freaking sweet. But yeah. That is slick. This one here is, his name is Sketch. Really claw your uh, wrist. That's from a rabbit. Oh, dang, bro. Because they freak out. Ooh. But anyway, they're, they can get up to 15 pounds. Right now they're like five. Dang. So they're gonna be big old meat rabbits. That's crazy. Yep. Bro, you gotta get the channel going. Yeah, I know. You got a whole operation here. This is it's a big girl right here. She's Dang. she's freaky, but <laughs> <laughs> I think a deer tried to get into goat pen. Probably. I told there's them a, they sound like fawns. There's a fence, like a part of the fence that's this tall that's smashed in like only a deer could have got up on. That's crazy. But yeah, that's the operation right now. Hopefully there'll be like a hundred of them in a few months. That's crazy. Are you guys gonna breed these? Are you guys gonna yeah, just buy? These these are males, those are the females. Okay. Yep. Cool. I didn't even realize there was a market for meat rabbits really. Like I've heard about it, it's but I, I've insane. never looked into it. Everybody I talked to, they're sold out. Same with the goats. Really? Yeah. I guess he's got all kinds of stuff I didn't even know about. He got rabbits. I want a donkey in here. now. Did you got the little afro dude? <laughs> I told him in yesterday's video, I said every time I see that thing, I think about saying I'll make a waffles because I just think <laughs> of the donkey from Shrek every time. Uh. He's actually getting shaved down right now and then we're just keeping oh. the afro in the mane. You're gonna keep the afro? Yeah, just the afro and the mane. Dude, why does the donkey it. have an afro? I don't know, dude, but it's like this it's like an afro. It's crazy. It's actually really cool. I thought you were joking, him. like it was just the mane and it was long. No. It's like a no, it's legitimately. He's neat looking. So anyways, that's his little operation. He's got the pigs. I knew about the pigs. I knew about the goats because he sent me a picture. I did not know about the rabbits or the chickens actually being here yet. I knew you had other chickens, but I didn't know you had the meat chickens. Or you do wanna, you... Did you go look at them yet? The, the meat so chickens? They are, no. They're like, I think they're 14 days old. Really? Yep. And their ankles are like this big. Oh, Genetically crap. modified. Well, let's see. I don't think I've ever seen these genetically modified meat chickens. Cornish cross chicks. They just lay around. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at, their, look at his feet. Oh my goodness. Looks like a full grown chicken, doesn't it? That's crazy. <laughs> it's wild. That is crazy. It's absolutely wild. Look at the size of those feet. Dude, our chickens, <laughs> our chickens are like three or four months and their feet are hardly that big. Yeah. That's not, I mean, but they're huge. These, are, these will be full grown and harvested in, in six weeks. I believe it, oh my gosh. That's crazy. We only lost oh. one in the whole brooding process. That's not bad for yeah. 60 of them. Yep. I thought we were gonna lose one or well, two of ours. 61, because only one died and they gave us 62, like, because they thought some might die. Yeah. Me and Jesse took the goats for a walk. I saw that. You sent me a picture. Yeah. I was like, what are they doing? <laughs> Collars on them and dog Dude, they, leashes. They like to go on walks. It's funny. That's hilarious. The goats, <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro. You got all kinds of animals around here. Meh. Usually they respond. Meh. 
<laughs> We're not gonna do it. There it is. This fencing here, just this wooden part, framed part, is supposed to be mobile. It's called a goat tractor. They do yeah. chicken tractors just like those ones, and you move them every day one spot over for fresh grass. That's cool. So they also just had all of this, all this bright green was planted. That's like five acres of yeah. hey. like a grass hay or? It's called Midwestern Grazer. Okay. Alfalfas and clovers, cause that's what goats need. Horses need more grassy stuff, but goats seem to <laughs> need alfalfa and whatnot. Yeah, that's crazy. I brushed this one, but that one doesn't let me brush it. It's a sketchy one, watch. <laughs> Super skeptical, huh? They Fun tore one. this up. Oh my yeah. gosh. Two weeks in there. It looked like that. It went from that to dirt to literally dirt. That's crazy. So he's actually got this really slick velvety mat down here so we don't gouge our back with That's rocks. That's right. Yeah. That's actually sweet. I want one of those for a barn. A piece of carpet. I guess I got rubber on the floor of my barn. $14 for a $14. 6 by 10 roll. That's awesome. What's happening is, of course, when his tank dropped, it was hanging on up here, and that's why it cracked the filler neck up by the tank up there. He actually just put a new strap on there. He's gonna put another new one on today. And we're gonna transfer over, basically, the draw straw in the main top up on part that measures, you know, your fuel level and pulls your fuel and all that other stuff. It's the main crap on top. He's gonna transfer the one off this tank to the new one that he picked up because some of the stuff on the new one is like kind of broken a little bit, but this one should be totally fine. So what's the issue here? Right there. Yeah, that'll cause a fuel leak when you fill it up, especially <laughs> since it's on the downward side, gravity's fighting against you. Well, we weren't able to fix this truck. Why we weren't? Well, we couldn't get the heat shield off the other tank, the bad one, and put it on the new one, and he wants to make sure that he has that on there. You guys let me know down in the comments below how important are the heat shields on those second gen Dodges? I know the exhaust is on the opposite side. I don't know if it just has to do with the exhaust or if it has nothing to do with the exhaust. It might not have anything to do with it. How crucial are those? Do you need to put it back on? Let me know down in the comment section below. But the whole reason for even having a changes tank, as you saw, was he had a cracked portion of it, basically at the part of the tank right up against it, which you can't really just like swap out it's like part of the plastic tank and it was cracked so that's why he has to swap it all out but he doesn't want to put the tank back in without the heat shield because he feels like if it had one on he should probably keep one on let us know down in the comment section below but other than that that's where we left off for his truck for today and uh hopefully we get it figured out so far that's where we are thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications for every video that goes live if you don't hit the bell youtube might not send you the notifications because just because you subscribe they do not always send them out because they just don't a lot of times but anyways guys hit the links in the description below if you want to have a chance to enter to win this hellcat or this truck right here Every $5 gets you more entries towards winning these vehicles. There's a link that says we give away fast cars here. That's for the Hellcat. And we give away diesel trucks here. That's for the truck. Thank you guys so much. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace.